Hey everybody. So today I'm going to show you um, a pretty simple way to remove a pimple overnight. And um, this morning I woke up with these disgusting things on my face here. I don't know if you could see them. Well, actually yesterday morning I only woke up with one. Then this morning a couple more popped up. So I need to get rid Anyways, of these. Let me show you how to get rid of it overnight. The first thing is, is if you're lucky enough to wake up with it on like a Saturday or Sunday when you don't have to work or on a day off, um, you can uh, wake up and go about half the day and then start this process and you can just do it an extra couple times. So one, you know, once you see what I do, you'll know what I'm talking about. So you can just do it an extra couple times. If you woke up with it and you have to go to work, you're forced to go to work, then you just put your makeup on and go to work and then come home and then as soon as you get home, you do this process. So what you want to do is you want to, if you have makeup on, you want to remove the makeup and then you want to cleanse your face really well. Go in the bathroom, use your facial cleanser, uh, whatever kind you use, um, and then cleanse the face really well. Is get around the area where the pimple is and you want to take some alcohol. Okay, and I'm just taking regular rubbing alcohol. I'm putting it on a cotton ball and I'm gonna put it on that entire area and the reason I'm doing this is because you're gonna pop this pimple right now and you want that whole area around there it's right under my nose I feel like I'm inhaling fumes so you want that whole area to be disinfected. So the reason why uh, you want to put the alcohol there and have that area disinfected is because you're gonna pop the pimple and uh, you, when you pop the pimple, all of that bacteria and stuff that caused it in the first place is going to come out, and you don't want it to come out on the surrounding skin and and cause more pimples to form. That's why they always say, uh, don't pop your pimples and yada, yada, yada. You actually do want to pop the pimples because you want to get all that crap out, but you just don't want to do it in unsanitary conditions. So I like to take two Q-tips because even though you wash your hands and all that, um, it's still um, possible for your hands to have more germs on it. So I like to just take two Q-tips dip those in alcohol and then mine are already popped but I'll just show you real quick all you want to do is put one on either side of the pimple push down and then in underneath the pimple that's the proper way to pop a pimple I'll zoom you pimples, in. like I said are already popped but um, you just want to put your see that big guy in the middle of my q-tips you want to put your q-tips on either side like that and then just push down and then in underneath the pimple. And then what will happen is, is that pimple will pop and all that stuff will come out and then you immediately wipe away all that stuff with the Q-tip with alcohol or cotton with alcohol. And then if you have more to pop, just keep replacing your Q-tips throughout the process so you don't have like bacteria staying on the q-tip while you're continuing to pop and now this will work this process will work for an entire face of acne if you have acne problems it'll help to sort of tone it down until you can find a treatment to get it under control okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take ice cubes I have them in a ziploc bag um, I don't like to put it in paper towels because then as they melt, you know, it gets all wet and everything. So I put it in a Ziploc bag. Um, if you're going to do your whole face or a big section, I would wrap it in aluminum foil. And then so that way you can make the aluminum fit the, the shape, the area that you're doing. And then wrap that in like a cloth, a paper towel or a clean washcloth, something that's clean. And then, um, but for me, since I'm just doing this one area, I'm going to just use the ice cubes in a uh, Ziploc bag. And then what you want to do is you want to just take it and hold the ice cubes right on to those pimples. And you want to hold it there for no less than 10 minutes. It has to be there for 10 minutes. So sit back, watch TV or something. Because what's happening when you're doing this is you're freezing the pimple shut. So you, got, you squeeze it, you got all that bacteria and all that crap out of there. So you're going to squeeze it shut. It's going to force anything else out of there and it's just going to stay shut. So nothing else can get in there and whatnot. And then it's going to help it to sort of die down. So I'm going to hold this for 10 minutes and I will be right back to show you what to do. Okay, so we are back now, and if that ice, if you do the Ziploc bag, it gets a little too cold for you, you can wrap it in a, in a washcloth as well, but for me, it goes numb pretty quickly, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, now what you want to do is you want to just take uh, like an acne cream, like Clearasil, you know, stuff like that, like a pimple cream, 
and you just want to dab it right onto that pimple that you basically froze and again if you're doing your whole face then put it on the whole face or that whole area that you're doing whatever it is that you're doing so you can put that on there um, and so what I'm gonna use is I don't have a pimple cream because this usually isn't a problem for me but since I've been making so many videos makeup videos putting makeup on off on off um, I've noticed my skin getting a little irritated so that's why it's happening so since I don't have a pimple cream I'm gonna use this deep sea facial mask from Alba it's really good you could get it at the drugstore Whole Foods um, I really like this brand so I do recommend it a lot and it's just a mask so the reason why I'm putting a mask is because I know it's gonna sort of seal off that area so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on the spot just like that and then what you do from here is for, well the first thing you do is the rest of my face for example is feeling very dry right now because I I cleansed my face so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort of avoid this area and I'm gonna use this breath of fresh air toner from Lush and I'm just gonna spray my whole face and that's gonna sort of help uh, the elasticity in my skin right now it's gonna bring the pH to a normal letter level so it won't feel so tight and dry and then you can just rub your moisturizer into the rest of the face I don't recommend doing it at this point because we're going to do this process again so I wait till later to do the moisturizer so I'm not applying too much moisturizer in my face so many times in the day which is going to just cause more acne because it's like an overexposure to oil I guess you could say yeah that makes sense um, so anyway so you put this on you're going to leave it here for about four hours and then um, in about four hours you're going to wash your face again if you shower before you go to sleep which I do I'll shower I'll wash my face again and then I'll do this process again if it needs to be popped again I'll do that with the q-tips if it doesn't need to be popped again then I'll just avoid that whole step I'll just put the ice cube on it for another 10 minutes and then once the ice cube I take it off I'll put the cream on again and then go to sleep so basically you want to either wait four hours you want to time it so you come home from work and then you do this first step four hours before you're gonna go to sleep and then you leave it on and then when you're going to sleep go ahead and do it again put the cream on go to sleep and then in the morning you wipe it off and you will see a very noticeable difference in the pimple if it's not completely gone so um, but if it's not completely gone it'll be super small totally unnoticeable if you put your makeup and everything over it so that's it and again don't I would put moisturizer on the second time like before you go to bed that's what I'm gonna do so I just sprayed the toner so that way it could bring my skin back to a normal pH level and um, so it won't feel so dry and um, just dry I hate that feeling so yeah that is it and I hope you guys try it out let me know if it worked for you it um, has worked for me a few times in the past and a few people I know so I hope it works for you guys and uh, let me know how it works other than that don't forget to check out my contest video I know the ending of its messed up but I'll re-record a new one when it comes closer time to the contest I'll show all the new products that I bought for you guys and everything and that is it so there's a link in the down bar below you can click that and go to my contest video to see what I'm giving away and what you guys have to do in order to enter the contest and be able to win it. So that's it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.